remember the one condition, the one rule. You remain loyal to this family. You mean silent? Yes, it's a system, for better or for worse. We're all stuck in it. So much has shifted since you were both filming this season, and now we've had the passing of the Queen, we've had the passing of Prince Philip. How do you think that will change how audiences receive this new season of The Crown? Well, I think it will change. I don't know how. I would like to think that they would be comforted by spending some more time with this family. And it is out of our hands. When we finished filming six months ago, if we were releasing this two years ago, there wouldn't be all this white noise around it. People are very excited about it, and they waited a long time for a new season. And it's an indication of how people feel about The Crown in that the day after the Queen died, the viewing figures on Netflix of previous seasons went up like 150%. It's a hugely popular series, and I think people will acknowledge the respect and integrity with which the royal family is depicted. In light of the events of the last 12 months, perhaps I have more to reflect on than most. When I traveled there for the 10 days of mourning and for the funeral, what was so overwhelming is this deep, deep love that the people of Britain had for their queen. And I wonder how it affected the both of you personally when she passed. Well, I was filming on the day and the, when I got home and then the news was announced and I, my reaction surprised, I was fairly inconsolable that night and that did surprise me. But equally, I, I sort of thought, well, of course, I'm gonna feel like this. I've been living with her for the last two, over two years. But then I had 10 days in my schedule. I wasn't filming, I was very grateful for that. And then we both filmed the day after the funeral. And I think it was odd for the crew, and we had a lot of supporting artists, you know, looking at this uh, person as the Queen. I think it was uh, odd for the first couple of hours, and then um, you had to move on. The outpouring of, of grief, as it were, and the people who queued for hours upon hours to pay their respects came from, in part, the great unrest that is in Britain with our political scene. And the Queen represents something which is a sense of loyalty and duty, and uh, which at the time, and still goes on, is, is sadly lacking in our politicians. It is a way that we all can say, you know, this, this is the kind of person we want to follow and respect. One of the things that stood out to me watching this last season, the major shift, of course, is that the crown has shifted. There is now Prince Charles, is now King Charles. And there are a few episodes where they dig into the breakdown of the marriage of the Prince and Princess of Wales. Camilla Gate comes up. There's an entire new generation who's going to learn about the, you know, the transcripts from the tampon gate scandal. And I'm wondering how it shifts the presentation. Does it, you know, he's not the Prince of Wales anymore, he's the king. And all of this is going to be not only a reminder, but new for some audiences. Yeah, well, that was always going to be the case, whatever the incident was. I mean, that's the joy of the crown and when the value of the crown is it, it tells you about things you already know about. I think it leads to a greater understanding of people. It, it shows Charles's fallibility and I think you gain greater sympathy for him and for other members of his family. Uh, wonderful to talk to both of you today. You have big fans here in Canada, so thanks for talking with us today. Oh, thanks Thank so much. You. Thank you. How did it come to this? Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.